Oh, hey, mommies. My name is Tweet, and I'll be reviewing Adventure Ocean. We went on World Caribbean's Allure of the Seas from Gavison, Texas, and I'll give you my review and my favorite place to take my kiddos. For Adventure Ocean, they do take kiddos from ages 6 months to 11 years old. For this ship, it is so, so baby friendly. There's a drop-off nursery under 3, and how awesome is that? Not too many cruise lines offer that. Right when we boarded the ship, we had our lunch, and when you do your early check-in, either online or on the app, that's how you get started registering your kiddos to Adventure Ocean. Then when you board the ship, that's when you complete the registration. They also ask if kiddos are allergic to anything, or if there's any notes that staff needs to know pertaining to your kiddos. For instance, for my toddler, he can sleep anywhere, so if he falls asleep on the carpet, no need to call us because we don't want to pick him up. Let us have time on the ship, please. Cruise tip, please bring your sea pass card with you at all times for drop off and pick up. Adventure Ocean is located on deck 14 forward. The Royal app is awesome. It shows dates, times, and descriptions for everything a few weeks before sail day. So make sure you check it out. Adventure Ocean is split by four age groups. Royal Babies and Tots, ages six months to 36 months. Aquanauts, ages three to five years old. Explorers, ages six to eight years old. And Voyagers, ages 9 to 11 years old. For royal babies and tots, there is an hourly fee of $6 an hour from any hours from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Then the time from 6 p.m. to midnight is $8 an hour. They do give you a phone to contact you if they need to call you. The phone is given to you for your kiddos if they go to either group or both groups, royal babies and tots and aquanauts. So basically for kiddos between the ages of six months to age five, you get a phone. This phone is given to you at drop-off and needs to be returned each time you pick them up. This is a phone that only works on the ship and not off the port. When you pick up your little ones, you will know how much you were charged and it will also show up on your app under your profile. There is no nursery drop-off for the following three cruise ships. Jewel of the Seas, Adventure of the Seas, and The Explorer of the Seas. I couldn't get any footage of the nursery because there are always families in line waiting to register their babies on embarkation day. But this is an example of a nursery picture on Royal Caribbean's website. On this ship, the nursery is a bit smaller than the one pictured. I want to say half of the floor space. There are cribs, cots, and strollers here. Also, baby and toddler toys with one TV screen playing cartoons. The last few times during pickup, I noticed Coco Melon was on. For the nursery, please bring your personal items like diapers, wipes, sippy cups, an extra set of clothes, and personal comfort items. Cruise tip. Please reserve your time slots for Royal Babies and Tots early, like from day one. I cannot emphasize this enough. Reserve your theater, comedy, and ice shows before embarkation day as well, online or on the app. You can reserve your shows in advance, but not with a drop-off nursery. When you reserve your shows, then you know what time you want to drop off your babies and tots off. Since we had an excursion booked with the cruise line, they did tell us we had first dibs on reserving time slots for the nursery drop-off. Also, they needed us to reserve at least an hour the day before our excursion to do a test run to see how my baby girl does in the nursery. By day three, when I tried to reserve slots for my baby to be dropped off later in the week to give my husband and I some alone time to watch a show, the nursery was totally full and booked for the rest of the week. There was a wait list, but I was never called. I was told by another family that each staff member can only watch three babies at once. I only saw two workers there when I dropped my daughter off and picked her up and this cruise was the week after Thanksgiving. So just imagine those summer months and holiday months when it's the busier season. They will be fully booked all the time. For the aquanauts, explorers, and voyagers, camps for those ages are free in the day and included in the cost of the ship. That also includes port days. However, for aquanauts, your kiddos do need to be potty trained and no diapers or pull-ups allowed. The cost for after hours from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. is $7 an hour per child ages 3 to 11 years old. For the Aquanauts room, ages 3 to 5, there is a slide, plenty of toys, and a craft table. Here's the room for explorers, ages 6 to 8. There are video game screens for them to play. Activities vary by ship, but the kiddos will be working with arts and crafts, science experiments, dance parties, and more. The Voyager's room, ages 9 to 11, offers four screens for video games, talent shows, science projects, and more. There are other activities for the kiddos from ages 3 to 11. However, they have capacity limits and reservations are required. For instance, their science lab or imagination studio, as soon as the kiddos have finished their registration on embarkation day, reservations can be made there at Adventure Ocean or by dialing 7900 during operating hours. 
I didn't reserve any activities for my toddler. He is three and he's not into structured play yet. He is pretty free roaming when it comes to playing with toys. When there is a lot of kiddos around him, he's more comfortable with parallel play still at this age. For the seven day cruise, my toddler was only able to go to camp for three days. Not anyone's fault, he just likes to hang out with us more because he knows that the ship offers so many great things and places to go and do. For one of the port days, we did leave both my kiddos at camp for seven hours when we were at port in Roatan. When I picked up my son, he was asleep and my baby girl did amazing. However, when it came to dropping off my son that morning, we did have a difficult time. He cried because he wanted to be with us. Staff did tell us that if we couldn't soothe our kiddo in 10 minutes, we would have to pick him up. We were in a time crunch because we had a meeting place off the port for our excursion. So it was a bit stressful for everyone, but he calmed down after they allowed him to play with a fire truck toy that they took out from storage. They did ask us at the time of drop off what he would like to eat. They don't allow milk because some kiddos have a milk allergy. So my son had water and chicken nuggets or tenders for lunch. Our favorite place to take the kiddos on the ship was the open play. This area is open on all days from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m and has limited hours on embarkation day. This is a spot where you go with your kiddos for supervised play. No staff workers are here. We went to this area at least two to three times a day. It was a good spot for us to have our kiddos play and burn their energy before dinner or bedtime. For this ship, there is a foam mat in the middle, a toddler play slide structure, two playhouses, one play kitchen, three activity walkers, three ride on cars, and other toys. The play area was awesome. However, the downside of this place is my toddler always wanted to go there. For instance, when we dropped him off at Adventure Ocean and picked him up, we always had to stop here. We couldn't skip it because it was always in his line of sight, not unless he was asleep. There was no way for us to skip it without him having a meltdown. We didn't want to deal with that, so we always made time to go to this open area and gave him a time limit and he always cooperated. For Royal Caribbean ships, the open play area is only found on nine of their ships at the moment. They're Oasis, Quantum, and Quantum Ultra class ships. Those ships are the Allure of the Seas, Quantum of the Seas, Anthem of the Seas, Ovation of the Seas, Harmony of the Seas, Symphony of the Seas, Spectrum of the Seas, Odyssey of the Seas, and The Wonder of the Seas. The Icon of the Seas is set to sail January 27, 2024. I don't know if they will have an open play area, and I don't see why they wouldn't, but we don't know until then. We made a family friend on the ship. We left the dads to stay here and watch the kiddos in the open play area. While us moms went to a comedy show, it was a good break for us while the dads got to know each other. So that was another advantage for open play. Shout out to the Lamb family. For their bathrooms at Adventure Ocean, there is a baby changing station with baby wipes. Bathrooms for the kiddos are found in each age group as well. During my duration on the cruise, baby wipes were always fully stocked. Here's a sign right outside of a bathroom saying that it has a baby changing station. Even some of the men's restrooms had a baby changing station. This is a plus for me. The Adventure Ocean Theater is also in the Adventure Ocean area. It is free to come and go and you can come watch movies with your families. Here's the list of family movies that they had in November and December 2022. Encanto. Spider-Man No Way Home, The Mitchells vs. The Machines, and Clifford the Big Red Dog. Here's a quick layout of Adventure Ocean. Adventure Ocean is located on deck 14 forward. Here's the entrance to get in the area. The workshop, Imagination Studio, and Adventure Science Lab is where kiddos can do some activities while they are dropped off. The nursery is the World Babies and Tots area, ages 6 months to 36 months. Aquanauts has a slide, ages 3 to 5. Explorers for ages 6 to 8, and Voyagers for ages 9 to 11. Here's the Adventure Ocean Theater. The kids' arcade is here, but we didn't go in there because we didn't need to. My little ones are just 1 and 3 years old. Our favorite spot on the whole ship was the play area. We went there about 2 to 3 times a day. Overall, my review for Adventure Ocean has been great. My toddler was over after a few days, and this is how play area really helped us keep our kiddos busy. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, mommies.